Hi YouTube, it's AC Dodd here again, and uh, this time let's have a look at another strobe light. And this time I've got for you another Innova product. This is the 3555, and this is a slightly cheaper one than the first Innova, which is the um, 5568, I do believe. So this one has got no screen, it's just a dial, a dial type. So let's have a dig in and see what you get. Okay, so inside the package uh, comes with a, a, sim a simple sheet of instructions. So uh, again, not wonderful, but enough so you know what you're doing effectively. Uh, having a look at the, uh, the functions, we have uh, some of the highlights of the protected handguard. That's the same as the 5568. Uh, you've got obviously the long barrel uh, there and the, the moving end um, and it says obviously optically correct lens this is effectively the same timing light as the 5568 but with less functionality but most importantly uh, it should be able to read the timing figures at high speed so what we're going to do we'll have a quick look at the actual uh, light itself which is there you go so no screen just basically a dial so you can dial up dial back the timing uh, and obviously a button to turn the light on and off. So no RPM readout. So with this, if you're trying to do uh, distributor readings, you'll need a, an external um, tachometer or rev counter to use with it. Um, that would normally be uh, something that you would have in your tune-up kit. Uh, or you can use the one on the dashboard of your car, whatever. Um, sometimes easier to facilitate with a second person when you're using a dial-back timing light. But the most important thing on this timing light is it's, uh, only cost me £91. Again, this is a timing light that no one gave me, so I bought this with my own money. So uh, we will, what we'll do now is we'll, um, uh, we'll look at the wires and see what quality they, they've come in at. So, wires pretty much like the uh, one on the first uh, timing light that we looked at, the 5568. Uh, a nice heavy duty, quite a weighty, uh, well put together um ht clamp now looking at the um crocodile clips let's have a quick look yeah, at the joint in there so we can see there's solder uh, although in this particular case that's not the best solder joint um, but at least there has been an attempt to uh, solder them in rather than just crimping so what we're going to do now is uh we'll take it on the road and see how it performs. So this is the Innova 3555 timing light, the one with the um, uh, the dial on the back. So I'm going to test this one out. As you can see, I've got this one connected up. Uh, so we've got power from the uh, fuse box, earth on the engine, and then obviously we've got a connection to the HT lead. Um, push the button, the uh, strobe comes on. It's a good light, so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm getting a, a reasonable reading. Um, I don't know if you can see that, have a look down there. Now it doesn't come out well on that uh, on the video there, but the reading is not perfectly consistent, but perfectly good enough to see the timing mark. So <laughs> on there it says 11 degrees, uh, which is exactly what I get on my uh, snap-on timing light so I can say at least that it's reading the same. Now if I pick the revs up I've got 30 degrees full advance okay so that also ties in with my snap-on so at the moment this is okay but what I have noticed is and I've tried this on two other engines is that at the higher rpm it's much more difficult to see the timing setting okay so this is most certainly not as good as the 5568 in a that we, we uh, tested and on the previous two cars it was that poor that I couldn't get a reading on it at high rpm on this particular engine, 
it is working. But that doesn't mean to say that it'll work on everything. Now, I don't know if it's the timing light uh, or this particular one, or they're all like it. So all I can say is uh, for 91 pounds, I'm not sure I'd want to spend my money on this compared to the, the upper market model at 130 that actually works with all the functions. Okay, so back in the office now uh, with the um, 3555. Uh, one of the things I did like about it was the one-handed operation. I could quite easily uh, move the dial around uh, to get the timing setting I wanted, uh, which was great. The only thing that obviously let this down is um, on two engines I tried there, which weren't we didn't film, uh, I couldn't get reading at the high speed. And that engine that we did do the filming on uh, was the engine that I could get a reading, uh, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best, but I was able to just about get a reading on it. So I was a bit disappointed because I was expecting um, some good results, really, uh, based on the 5568. So it's, it's starting to look like to me that you need to spend over £100, certainly, to get a timing light that, to be able to do the sort of performance timing you need to set up a, a, a classic engine with a distributor. Anyway, uh, as ever, um, I hope you found that useful. Um, and please like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.